Alrighty, Rudy. Wookie dokie, Finoki. All right, anyway, let, let, I figured I'm gonna do a little tutorial. This isn't really my wheelhouse, but hey. So, not really my wheelhouse, but we're gonna do a little tutorial. I don't know if this will be useful or not. Um, it just was coming up with something wacky using plates and using PAMs to come up with some interesting rhythms, some kind of generative style rhythms, and then maybe we'll add a little sound on top of it towards the end, a little bit of oscillators and some generative music on top of it, and we'll get a little thing going. So let's start with creating our patch using PAMs, and we'll create some interesting drums coming out of plats, plates. I would say plates. I don't know why people say plats, but let's do this anyways. So let's start with output one from PAMs. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the wave the way it is. Let's go back to output one. I've got the BPM set to 130. I was just playing around. This is what it kind of ended on. Uh, so let's just leave it there. So we're going to set the multiplication to two. We're going to leave the wave the way it is. Level is going to be 100. We're not going to change offset uh, or width. Um, I think I will put the phase up to 5%. It just kind of adds a little movement. Uh, no delay. Uh, what else do we want to do? And then no skip. We're going to use the Euclidean uh, elements in here. So we're going to set this to 16 steps. Then our next trigger will be every eight. And then we will do our rotation on eight. And then everything else will be the same. So we're going to toss this into the trigger of plates. So then we're going to take and move to two, and two is gonna be divided by four. And we will start with our wave. Uh, our wave will go to a sine wave. And we wanna leave level at 100. We're gonna leave width the way it is and offset the way it is. But we're gonna modify delay a little bit. So we're going to go, what, 25% on delay. Again, just to add a little bit of something to it. And this one, we're going to hook into the level. And hopefully it'll take the level and kind of do this to it a little bit. But subtly, right? We don't want to do it too much. Uh, and then we're going to do our division as 12. And everything else will stay the same. And we'll put that in level. Groovy. All right, so let's look at three. Three, we want to go times two. And we're going to set the wave to the staged random. Or the stepped random, rather. Uh, I tried playing with this on the smooth wave random and it just didn't trigger correctly so we're going to use that uh, we'll just plug in our patch this is going to go to the model and what this will do is it'll flip between the various drums in here and it'll make it sound more like a kit so let's continue editing this Oop, we don't want that for a wave we want that for a wave we're going to change the level to 25 and what that will do is reduce the amount of fluctuation here you don't want it to go too crazy and we're going to do the offset to 5 and that will move some of these drums to beat just a little bit differently than right on the beat we'll move the phase to 50% what this will do is 
kind of add a little more variety between the higher and lower notes. You don't want it too much, but what else do we want? Uh, let's do Euclidean here. So Euclidean steps, we're going to set to 14. And rotation, wait, no, we're going to set steps to 16. We're going to set triggers to 14. We're going to set rotation to 8. All right. And then we'll add just a hair of slop to that make it sound a little more human all right so that's now plugged in and then we're going to take four and we're going to use that to modify our voltage or our pitch so let's go out to here let's go to four and let's do that divide by two and we'll change our wave to stepped random because that will then give us kind of a different sound here. And it kind of creates like a tom sound. Because the pitch will go up and down a little bit on the toms. And so it will sound kind of like somebody's hitting the toms. Which is kind of cool. And then we'll modify the level. Just so that the pitch doesn't change drastically. You don't want it to go too nutty. Because you don't want like you know you don't have ear piercing bird chirp toms in a drum set. So that's what we got. So let's plug this into our audio and see what we get. You even get a little bit of bell sound in there. There's even a little bit of bell sound in there, which is kind of nice. So let's throw that through a little bit of delay just to kind of add a little more flavor to it all right so we've got that right so let's move forward with let's add some sound over the top of it right What do we want to do? We'll throw this into here. We'll plug these through the filter and the amplifier. And then we'll throw this straight into here. Kind of got a bass line going now. So, oh, I bumped the camera. So now that we got a bass line, let's see what other kind of goodies we can get going on here. Let's throw this through here, do a little bit of delay. take the level up if we want and that'll give us a bit more variety as you can hear on those drums there's just a little bit more variety Let's pull that back down the knees down so let's move to four which is what we're using or five which is what we're using for the music element of it. We can always change our oscillator if we want something different.
can always speed it up. that set at that's seven so let's see what we got going on nice right, so that's already at wave so pull that down so it's not as piercing See, off camera, I am going to add just a little bit of reverb. We'll send everything through Valhalla Supermassive. So let's see here.
Okay, so that's through Valhalla Supermassive uh, preset of reverse clouds of eights. You can slow it down even more. Well, let's see what happens if we add just more plain reverb. A little bit of horror movie-ish going on there, huh? On my microphone, do I? Oops. Kind of cool sounding though. So we can always take this then and we can go to one and slow this down even further. There you go. You're using PAMS to drive some really interesting generative percussion from plats. And then we're using it as well to drive some generative audio or some generative notes over the top of it. Slow it way down, add a bunch of reverb. Unfortunately, I don't have a very good reverb effect in my setup. So I'm using the reverb in Bitwig. Uh, eventually I'd like to get a reverb thing, maybe like uh, Big Sky or something like that. They're super expensive, so I don't know that I'll get one anytime soon, but there you go. Music to just zone to. All right. 
right, so there you have it. Using PAMS to create a generative drum thing, percussion thing, and some notes over the top to create like a generative melody. So anyway, sorry for the messy desk. I hope that was useful. I don't know. You can play around with the patch. I'm sure everybody's done a Pamela's new workout uh, tutorial. Um, this was just something that I've been trying to play around with is how to use this with plats to make some interesting rhythm. And it's really been fun to use it to do generative melodies, which this is really kind of what I wanted to set up here is kind of a generative machine. I also have it so I can play keyboard, but really what I wanted to go for was kind of something that allows me to do generative, cool, kind of spacey music. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to try and do more of these as I find out cool new kind of things that I, I come across. And so subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, hopefully they're useful. Um, if you're new to modular, they'll probably be somewhat useful. Uh, it took me a little while to figure this stuff out. I bought quite a bit of... Uh, well, anyways, that's another video. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And hopefully I'll get another video out tomorrow with maybe just some music. Maybe I'll turn this into a music video in and of itself. So, thank you for watching. Have a good one.